Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning how to eliminate blank rows in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is how to eliminate rows in Excel. Now let's get started with the practical mode. Now we are on our spreadsheet and you can see I have some sample data on my spreadsheet and it does have some blank rows. Now how do I eliminate these blank rows? So one step is you can you know select the entire row and try to right click and delete it. Again this sort of method might take hours to get rid of all the blank rows and most of the time you might end up even selecting the rows with data in it right so if i want to select multiple rows then i'll be you know, selecting some rows with data as well which might be a little troublesome in the future now let's try to use the easier way now for that go to the find and select option select the go to special option and in that select the blanks option and press ok now hold control key and press minus key and you will have an option of deleting the cells now select the entire row now we are selecting the entire rows with blank data and press ok and the cells will be shifted now this was simple but let me show you another example so even here we have some blank rows but in between those blank rows for example take cell 17 or cell d17 or row 17 we have some data testing and here in the employee id we have some data in a26 and again in b39 we have some data that is first name right in such scenarios how do i eliminate data so we have a simple logic for it so all we need to do is add another row which is to count the number of cells in the row now that can be count Now here equals to the function is count a. Let's tab and the cells will be from a2 to g2. Press enter. Now you have 7. So now we are basically calculating the number of cells. So if you apply the same to the entire uh, data set, let's drag it. And there you go. So there are certain places where you find zero, which are basically the empty columns, right? Now let's do some formatting if you need. Let's try to add filters. Control A, Control T, and now table will have filters and headers. Now here you can see the drop down icon, click on that. Now instead of select all, what you can do is select zero. Now you will be highlighted with all the rows which do not have any data. Select all those and press on delete or what you can do is in the same way, control minus. There you go. Now clear the filter. Now all you have is the data without any kind of blank rows. So all the rows that had some amount of data are retrained and all the data or all the cells or all the rows which do not have any data which are completely blank, they have been eliminated. So that's how you eliminate blank rows in Excel. With that, we have come to an end of this tutorial. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the data set that we used in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. 
To nerd up and get certified, click here.